Molly, how have you been since the last time I interviewed you? Hmm, um, still been getting money. Still been doing all right. My back be killing me. I'll be crying like a little bit every day, but uh, other than that, been on a good one. Flying high. On a good one? On a good one. How old are you, Molly? Last time I didn't get to ask you. I'm 32. You're 32? Yep, yep. And are you originally from Phoenix? Chicago. You're from Chicago. I How'd grew you up in all Milwaukee. the way out here in Phoenix. My bum ass mama brought me over. Brought my mom brought years. me over. And I hate it. It's hot as f but I, I fell in love with Arizona. Did you? I fell in love with it. I like the scenery and the people. At what age did you come out here? 14. 14? Yep. Came out here when I was 14. Yep, 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 yep. And um, you, are you homeless right now? Yeah, sort of, kind of. Like, I stay at my friend's house every now and again, but not really. So, yeah, it sucks, but I do what you got to do. But I'm fucking, I've been waiting on them to do my damn housing. Like, I've been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and they've been taking this to that sign, but I didn't even go back in there and go yell at that bitch. I'm getting tired of her. I'm going to fuck somebody else on her ass. My case manager is not doing her job. She's pissing me off, dude. It just sucks. Last time I got my housing, I had to go to the housing authority myself. I did all the paperwork by myself. And that's the part that sucks. Like, I'd be like, dude, that shit sucks. It sucks. But, I mean, I do what I have to. So right now you're going through the process. You're just waiting on the home. Mm -hmm. That shit sucks, though. It's not even so much just waiting on the home. Like, it, I think she's fucking trying to get me in a good place, too. Like, trying to get me in a place that's remodeled and all that good shit. Like, all that good shit. Cause she, just, she says she don't want to move me in somewhere that's fucked off. And then I got to move out again. She don't want that. Yeah. So, you know, that shit takes a process, too. But other than that. It's like, it ain't it ain't too bad because most of the time I do stay at somebody's house, but sometimes I don't. But I so know. last time that we spoke, uh, you told me that you were on those mollies, on those blues. Mm -hmm. Are you still messing with those? Yeah, I still do them because they be killing my back, dude. Like I swear to God, I can't move. That shit hurts so bad. That's the one thing. Like I'm on, like I have to take them. If I don't take them, I was just bawling my eyes out. Um like an hour ago because my back it just stiffened up on me i can't move it restricts my body and i can't move at all it hurts me so bad on my neck too because when i crash my car i my shit off pretty bad pretty bad it hurt really bad and fucking it just hurt bad like i couldn't do nothing else you know yeah like it hurt it hurt so bad i can't move my neck be killing me you know but uh, I smoke weed too. It just makes me feel better. Yeah. The weed's better, honestly. I think the weed's better. It's the best thing ever. But other than that, I'll be twerking. So how long ago? How long ago did you start doing the blues? Like a year ago. About a year like ago. Like a year ago. Mm-hmm. All right. About a year ago. Do you need to get in here, bro? Can't leave any money over there. No. Oh, some cans, like huh? I don't like that camera because I look too much like Chapo Guzman. Hey, we got all the celebrities out here, huh? Oh, the palace? I didn't know you could sell those things. I had no yeah, idea. So these are no for real? Right here? They're not. They have to be 48, they 48 wide by 48. Uh, 40 all right, Molly. So how old were you when you got introduced to the blues? Oh, uh, what was that? Third? I want to say 31. 31. 31? Yep, I was 31. Do you remember uh, who introduced you to them? One of my close friends. I told her my back was hurting, and uh, I couldn't, at the time, I couldn't get my gabba pit, and my shit was hurting real fucking bad. Yeah. Like, bad, bad. I couldn't move. So I just overdosed. Um, I took my lithium for bipolar, and I took my lithium, and um, when I took my lithium, uh, and uh, the lithium and the risperidol were outdated. So when I took them, I just fell the fuck out. My heart stopped. I started foaming at the mouth, throwing up and shaking and spitting and all that shit. And I just got sick as fuck. I couldn't well, What move. is that lithium for? It's like, it's like, since I don't, I don't take salt in my body. My body doesn't take salt the right okay. way. It doesn't, it doesn't register salt the way it's supposed to. So like, and it, Honestly, I don't really think I'm bipolar. Bipolar, I just take it to like kind of take the edge off. Cause sometimes I, I've been through so much shit. Sometimes I just want to like, you know what I'm saying? Just like take the edge off of how I'm feeling. Cause I get anxiety real bad. I've seen all the things that I've been through. 
All the times yeah. I done seen friends get shot, uh, people were fucking uh, my best friend blowing his head off over the phone, all kinds of shit. What's that? Is that out here in the streets? Did you see all that in the streets out here? No, I was back in Wisconsin and back here too. Okay. Yeah. A couple other cities I was. Uh, how shit. dangerous is it out here in the? Phoenix, it's dangerous, Arizona? but it's not dangerous like Chicago. It's, it's not. nothing like Chicago. It's dangerous though. Is it, it is dangerous. I just had a dude. I went on a date with a guy, and yeah. he put a knife in my back and left me in Casa Grande. Nigga put a knife in my back and told me to suck his dick or he was gonna kill me. So I grabbed the other knife and I was about to stab his ass and push him out the car. Like, it's fucking dangerous. Like, it's dangerous. Like, and I still do this shit because, like, I fucking still have to, I still have that money. Like, either way it goes, you still have to maintain, you still gotta eat. Yeah. It doesn't matter, you still have to eat, you still gotta maintain. And if you do got a drug problem, you still gotta and get high. Like, I have to do it. My body fucking hurts so bad. And I done went to rehab, rehab ain't got to do with it. I literally have to do this or I can't fucking breathe, I can't move, I can't walk, I can't talk, I can't do shit. And what, I what happened with rehab? Did you complete the program? I did it. I did it yeah. all. I did everything I needed to do. It's just I can't. So you, you've been clean before? I've been clean before. I was clean for 10 years prior to my uh, second baby daddy. And um, prior to him uh, getting locked up for uh, manslaughter like okay. three years ago. After that, um, after that, pretty much just been on the drugs. You just, you just went back to the blues because yeah, I'm, your I'm, back was hurting or what? My back was hurting. I fucking missed my kids and then I got sick and then I had the car accident and it me up real bad. So now my shoulders are up. I just woke up. All I remember is taking all them pills. I was like right after my best friend blew his brains out. I, fucking, I just remember taking all them pills and that's when I had my car. I fucking was driving. Just boom! Crashed and shit. Like, I don't remember nothing. I just remember drinking a fifth of vodka. They had to pry me out of my car. That's all I remember. I don't remember where did shit that happen? Out here? Out here. I don't remember exactly where, but I was somewhere. But I fucking see this right here. I can't remember if that's from when the car door was in my side. And, uh, yeah, the car door was in my side. I couldn't move for shit. Like, I just remember when I woke up, there was a tube down my throat. I couldn't yeah. move. But I thought that was just from uh, taking them outdated meds. But I remember I got in the car and I so was drinking. So were you in a coma? Yeah. Yeah, for how long were you in, the, in that coma? I think they said I was in a coma for like four days, four or five days. When you were or in that shit. coma, like, did you see anything? Mm -hmm. Do you remember anything? Yeah, I remember seeing a vision of uh, angels, like the, the the twelve disciples, and then I remember seeing God. His face and his tongue is like a sword, and his eyes are fiery red, and he has real long, pretty blonde hair. I'm not blonde, but like brownish, tannish hair. And I just remember he said I was gonna have to give my life for somebody else. And I believe this is like right after um. This is like right after I had the encounter with the three-headed beast. And after I drew that picture of Donald Trump, because when I had that vision, God told me to draw that picture and put it up with the swastikas because he said that basically now that it's like pretty much to me, this is like the new world order. And I believe that um, God has, um, I'm not perfect and I still do drugs and all that shit, but I believe that. Um, God made me draw that picture because it represents the way that Donald Trump left office and he fucked everything off. And then we started fighting with everybody over the oil and the land and the money and all that. So basically the swastika sign, the dollar sign, it represents how he pretty much like sold our souls. Pretty much. That's how I look at it. That's exactly what I saw. And mind you, I didn't have a picture of Donald Trump or nothing when I drew that shit. I drew it just because it was just a vision I had, and I don't know how I drew it. Honestly, I don't even know how I drew it. It was just so badass. That's what I just closed my eyes, and that's what I saw. Molly, do you have family out here still? In yeah, Phoenix? I still have family. I still talk to them. Do you? Do you talk I, to your kids and all that? Yeah, I talk to them. I talk to them and stuff. I still love them and shit. It's hard, though. Like, I hate to have it and tell them, you know? Like that shit that I go through, but do they know that mom's out here, struggling, homeless? Yeah, they know, but I, I can try to like, you know what I mean. Like I try, and 
I try to fucking like, tell them like I'm trying to do better, but they know I take pills, but they know, like, and they help me out when they can, but I don't be wanting nothing from them, like, I don't want shit from them, I just want to, I just want to fix everything for them, like, I love my family so much, but I don't want them to think that I don't care about them, because I do, it's fucking hard, it's not just that, it's fucking hard, dude, I go through so much shit, I love my family so much, and I'm like, I feel like a bad mom, I'm not trying to be a bad mom, it just hurts me. I just want to fix everything for them. It really hurts me. I want to fix everything for them because I love them. And I've been kind of mean. And I wasn't being mean to them. I wasn't trying to be mean to myself. My family was shit. And I was just upset because I felt like I felt like I wasn't good enough for them. And I'm just fucking their life with more. And I should just get out of their life and stay out of their life because I'm just hurting them. I feel like I shouldn't be around them. I don't really want to die, but I'm just sad. I'm alone. I fucking want to be with somebody and be happy, you know? Is that one of your dreams, just to maybe one day settle down, get married, and just yeah. live the normal life? Yeah. But I just keep up, and I feel like I'm just a f- I'm never going to be happy. <laughs> I go through so much shit. I so and I try to play it off, you know? I try to play it off and say, oh, it's going to be cool, everything's good. But it's never too late. It's never too yeah. late to don't give up. No, I get so tired. I don't want to do pills, but it hurts bad. I have to. It just hurts so bad. It's like the worst excruciating pain ever. I feel like I'm not nothing to my family. I can't help them with nothing. When I do have money, I try to give them everything I can, or I go out there and I go hustle to get it, you know? Yeah. My, my, my family, my brothers and my sisters, I feel like I ain't I feel like a pussy. I feel like I can't help them if I wanted to, but I have to. I have to take care of them. <laughs> I feel like I'm not good enough for them. Like, I just fucked up their life. I feel like I just hurt them so bad. I've been so mean. I wasn't trying to be mean. I love them so much. I just feel so shitty. I don't understand. I don't really want to die. I just so I'm scared of being alone. And I've been through so much shit. I'm just scared of everything. That's so sad. I don't like being alone. That's like the worst feeling ever I had to pull my head out of my ass and let myself know that it's gonna be okay like God's gonna help me he's gonna send somebody in my life I know I'm fucking up and I try to make a big joke about everything but I know it's gonna be okay I feel like I'm no good sometimes I feel like I'm just uh, it is not me just me after what I want I'm just really hurt and I feel like I'm not good enough to be around nobody else <laughs> You know, I'm trying to make a big joke out of everything, but it's not really funny. Like, the depression, I just get sad. I don't want to be alone. That shit will drive you insane. I'm so scared of being alone. Because then sometimes when I'm out here doing things, I do run into crazy people. And that's what scared me, that fucking crazy mother. He tried to stab the shit out of me, dude, and left me. He dropped me off and left me way to fucking cast a grand. I was scared. I was scared. He kept stabbing at me. Did you make a police report or anything? No. I don't even know the guy's name. That's the fucked up part. I haven't seen him either. I don't know his name. But I'm going to tell them about that. Like, I want to do it, but I can't say nothing because fucking, um, I can't say nothing right now until I take care of my warrant. Then I'm going to fucking a police report because that nigga tried to stab me. I was, like, really scared. That's the one thing I get scared of out here, you know? I hate doing that, but sometimes when I can't go to work or I try to go to work or my back is killing me too bad or I fucking wake up too late because I don't get adequate sleep, I have insomnia, then I, I get up and shit. I know my family loves me, but I hate fucking put my problems off on them. It's not their fault, man. I can't tell them that I'm not good enough. They better than me. I feel like my family's better than me. I'm trying to fucking be good. I still love them. I don't fucking do everything I can. It doesn't matter what I gotta do. I'm gonna fucking fix everything for them. I have to. If I don't fucking fix this shit for my brothers and my sisters, they're fucking, they're gonna fucking be like, dude, why did you just fuck up my life? I don't want them to think I'm 
They love me because I love them. I still talk to them. And I know they love me. But obviously, dude, I feel like I'm fucked up their life. I'm fucked up their life. I'm just now more and more and more and more and more. And I'm tired of fucking up. I want to fix everything for them. I'm just so sad. I'm so scared of being alone. I hate being alone. That's why I begin to hide and ease the pain. Try to numb it. It hurts so bad, bro. I've never been in so much pain in my life. Family is so much better than me. I fucking love my family. I don't care what they do. I don't want them to go to jail. I don't want them to go to prison. I don't want them to deal with none of the shit I went through when I was young. I don't want them to fucking have to deal with that shit. I can't see my brothers and sisters in a prison cell. That shit would kill me, bro. They don't deserve that. They can't do it. I don't care. And even if they do, even if the cops are right there, I'll take the rap for them because that's how much I love them. <laughs> and that's how much I love them. I love them more than anything else in this world. I said they not nothing. I didn't mean to say that. I feel like I'm not good enough for them. I think but I gotta do everything for them. I have to. I feel like I'm not nothing right now. I had the piece of shit before it's too late. I'm scared of being alone and I wanna be I wanna be with a good guy. I'm sad. I fucking feel like I'm not good enough for it. I feel like I'm not good enough. Do you plan on going back to treatment? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to treatment, you know? And fucking just fix everything. I feel like I'm not a good girl. I'm not even saying I'm not a good person. I just, I think I'm putting too much shit, on, too much pressure on myself. I know my fucking family is more important than me, and it's just not nothing, and that's not the truth. I mean, I feel like a total dick to them lately, and that's not the truth. I fucking love them more than anything else in this world, and I've just been so hard on them lately. I love them so fucking much. I just want them to get caught up with me, dude. I don't want them to go to jail over me or for some dumb shit my stupid ass done done you know i can't let them go to jail or go down because of me last time i went to jail because one of my family members i can't let him go to jail all right monty well if any one of your loved ones gets to see this interview what would you like to tell them i tell them i love them i know I'm up. Please don't worry about me. There's just know that God got me, and He's gonna make sure that He fucking He's gonna carry me. And I'm not just up just to be up. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm just trying to numb it, just because all the shit I've been through. I'm just trying to numb my shit. I just want to feel better. And it's not even having mental illness. I've just been through so much. Like terrified right now. I'm not scared of nobody out. I am kind of scared out here. It's just been getting worse and worse. It's like, why did I run into that crazy dude? Like, he was like stalker type. Shit. Like, it was crazy. Like, I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? He fucking he basically raped me because he had a knife to my back. You know what I mean? So, like, basically, I'm gonna fuck with that dude. I said if I seen him, that's why he dropped me out in Casa Grande. He probably took off back to another state. I know that nigga fucking did. He had to have because. Okay, I think he was from, he said he was from fucking Mexico. I think that nigga came over here just went around raping people and took off. Because he sure tried to stab me up if I didn't fuck him. I'm like, dude, you can't force me. And then he gave me $6. What the fuck am I supposed to do with $6 after you just threatened my life? Like, dude, this shit is dangerous. But it's like, a, yet and still, I have to fucking do what I have to do. Because if I don't do what I have to do, even if I can't go to work, then what? What if I can't get my food stamps? Then what? What am I going to do? You still got my. And look at the way you still gotta hustle either way it go. Either way it go, you still gotta hustle. And you can't fucking think that shit's gonna go bad. I'm gonna make shit work either way it goes. I'm gonna. I have to. I don't have no choice. No matter what, I'm gonna make shit better. I have to make things better. All right, Molly, if one of my subscribers or anybody watching this video wants to reach out to you and offer some help, do you have any type of social media or anywhere where they could reach you at? Um, let me see. I got a phone number they can get me. It's a six zero two. I don't know if you want oh, to hear about your. Oh phone yeah, huh? No, never mind. Hold on. Damn, I'm trying to think. People. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Like a Facebook or a Gmail. Fuck a Facebook. Uh, what the fuck is my email? Facebook? Uh, damn, I don't know. Oh yeah, uh, uh, it's uh J U G G A L E T T. Uh, a at gmail.com. No, at mocospace.com. Mocospace.com. Yeah, mocospace. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah. All right. All right, Molly. Well, thank you for this interview. I really do appreciate it. And are you okay with me using it on my YouTube channel? Yes. Thank you. So maybe that's Bye, SBM. Deuce, deuce. Later. Tor, 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 tor. She called me SPM again. <laughs>